Vice President Yemiya Shibajo arrives at the Meduguri International Airport, where he is warmly received by the state governor, Baba Ganazulum, the immediate past governor, Kashim Shetima, and other government dignitaries. The VP is on a one-day working visit to Borono State. Students of secondary schools were not left out as they cheerfully welcomed the number two citizen of Nigeria as well. The vice president proceeds to commission some projects, including the 78 doctors' quarters to provide conducive apartments for doctors, the Resilience Commercial Center for Children Learning, and the Derry Bay Memorial Secondary School. He also visited the Almaskin internally displaced persons camp and the Shehu of Borono, where he expressed delight over the leadership style of Governor Baba Ganazulum. Every time I make a speech somewhere, I always refer to what uh, Governor Zulu did. Because he has demonstrated that with little resources, we can do a lot. And that the problem that we have in this country is not so much uh, poverty or lack of resources. It's a commitment to the people. That commitment to the people to do the best we can for our people whatever we have to contribute it and to do the best we can for the people. I think that's what uh, Governor Zulum has shown. And today we've been to about three uh, places already, commissioning projects, and we are not done yet. Governor Zulum, who applauded the federal government's efforts in improving the living standards of IDPs, revealed there are over 211,000 Nigerians still displaced in Chad, Cameroon, and Niger republics. A few days ago, the president has inaugurated a committee which has been chaired by your humble self. And my humble self as the vice chairman, with the mandate of repatriating indigents of Borno State that are living in the Republic of Cameroon, Chad and Niger. The mandate of this committee, among others, is also to look into the possibility of managing the directors ex Boko Haram members. Your Excellency, this is indeed one of our major constraints in Borno State because if we manage these defectors very well, the insurgency will come to an end very soon. With the recent return of relative peace in some parts of Borno State, residents say they are optimistic the Boko Haram insurgency will soon come to an end to allow for economic activities once again.